Hello guys, welcome to our channel, Techno Universe. Tech giant Apple once surprised the world when it previously announced its self-driving electric car, aptly named the Apple Car. However, it's been 8 years since Apple introduced the self-driving electric car project and we still haven't seen the Apple Car released. So why haven't we seen the Apple Car released yet and does Apple have the ability to produce electric cars? In today's video, we'll talk about the reasons why Apple as a tech giant can't make its electric car. Let's go ahead and start today's video. Apple wants to apply the production of the Apple Car similar to the way it has made the iPhone. However, doing this seems to be a lot more difficult because the production of cars appears to be much more limited than the products that the company has launched before. Besides that, Apple likely wanted to find a car manufacturer that can cooperate to build and assemble a car with Apple's design, specifications, and requirements. Apple wants their EV to use only their hardware, software, etc. And this is like the iOS operating system produced exclusively for Apple devices. Therefore, no reputable car brand wants to be labeled Apple Contract. Car manufacturer accordingly a source familiar with the matter told Bloomberg that talks between Apple, Hyundai, and Kia had been paused since February of last year. Hyundai even clarified that Hyundai Motors are not in talks with Apple on autonomous vehicle development. There was also a personal crisis at Apple in the field of self-driving EVs. The talent exodus shows the challenge Apple faces as it expands into a new industry. Self-driving cars may present a larger sales opportunity for Apple, but perfecting that kind of technology has tired and discouraged the company's engineers for years. Especially when mentioning the loss of senior personnel in charge of the Apple Car Project. At an early stage, the Apple Car Project kicked off in 2014 at the direction of Steve Sadesky, who was a former Ford engineer who then worked with the iPod and iPhone teams. However, according to Zadesky, he left Apple after only two years. After that, Apple had to constantly replace positions in charge of Apple's self-driving electric car project, which also affected the project's progress. The Apple car project later was put into the hands of former hardware division chief Dan Richo and subsequently his predecessor Bob Mansfield, who retired in 2020. Then, ex-Tesla executive Doug Field was at the helm for a stretch from 2018 until September of last Last year. Upon Doug Field's departure from the company, the keys to the Apple Car project landed in the hands of Kevin Lynch. Unlike the prior leaders, Lynch had neither hardware leadership expertise nor history in the car world, though he is known to drive a Tesla. His experience is only limited to software, while Doug Fields was in name and title the biggest departure from the Apple Car team last year. He was just one of the many people who have left in early 2021. The wave of departures started with three of the company's top Apple Car leaders including Dave Scott, Jamie Wado, and Benjamin Lyon. Last summer, Dave Scott who has led teams working on robotics related to the car left Apple to become the chief executive officer at Hyperfine. Hyperfine is a healthcare company developing next-generation magnetic resonance imaging systems. Jamie Wado, who led autonomous car safety and regulation teams, departed to become the chief technology officer at Kananu. Kananu is a startup focused on the safety of autonomous cars on public roads. In February 2021, Benjamin Lyon, who helped create Apple's original car team several years ago and was key in the future project's development, left to become the chief engineer at Astra. Astra is a company developing technology for sending satellites to space. It's not just top managers who have resigned recently. At least three key engineers who worked on battery technology, drivetrain systems, and self-driving sensors left. Some of the ex-Apple employees have joined the flying taxi startups, but some could argue that the inaccuracy related to the types of technology that Apple uses in the Apple Car project is another reason. Kevin Lynch took charge of the Apple Car project. He is inspired because the Apple Car is a fully autonomous car that will not require user intervention to drive, going further than any other car manufacturer to date. Apple wants to design a car without the steering wheel and pedals instead of limited self-driving like many models on the market. 
This is the latest change in Apple's self-driving electric vehicle project known as the Special Projects Group. However, this made people skeptical about the absolute safety of this completely self-driving car from Apple. It might even raise the question that if in some emergency cases, such as the car suddenly losing momentum, losing control needs to use the steering wheel, how would it be handled? Therefore, if there's no steering wheel in the car to use in necessary cases, it will be very dangerous and can cause accidents for drivers drivers as well as other vehicles. Additionally, Apple will also likely have problems with the supply of batteries for their EVs. Specifically, some sources claim Apple is also set to use a lithium-iron phosphate in its batteries which are less likely to overeat rather than the usual lithium-ion battery. Nevertheless, much like Tesla and other electric car manufacturers, Apple will most likely have to depend on Chinese battery manufacturers. There is currently no lithium-iron phosphate battery factory in the US, which makes me wonder, why doesn't Apple work with Tesla to build EVs. As Apple has no experience with car manufacturing, it will need partners to produce the vehicle, and Apple is said to be working on securing partnerships in the automobile industry. It is not yet known who Apple will work with. One of the reasons is that Apple still wants to monopolize or produce their own electric vehicle. They want to create their electric car to compete with Tesla and other automotive manufacturers. Furthermore, the biggest barrier to the relationship between Apple and Tesla comes from the tense confrontation between Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, and Elon Musk. Back in 2015, amid Apple's first attempt to build an EV, the Tesla CEO said that Apple is the graveyard for ex-Tesla staffers. Also, according to some sources, Tim Cook and Musk have never even spoken or interacted with each other despite sitting just feet away in a meeting with President Donald Trump in 2016. Then, in 2020, Musk shared on Twitter that during the darkest days of the Model 3 program, I reached out to Tim Cook to discuss the possibility of Apple acquiring Tesla for one-tenth of our current value. He refused to take the meeting. This proved that the CEO of Apple, Tim Cook, did not want to join in on the Tesla acquisition proposed by Elon Musk, as well as having no intention of cooperating with the CEO of Tesla. Apple has the vision to manufacture a car that can provide better integration of hardware, software, and services than potential competitors in the automotive market. The Apple car is likely to be marketed as a very high-end model or significantly higher than the standard electric vehicle, for all that it needs to hire and keep the right people to make it work. If Apple can't figure out how to do that after a year under its fifth Apple car chief, maybe it's time to reconsider the feasibility of the project because it's been almost a decade since the Apple car has not been able to officially roll onto the road. So that's a wrap for today. Thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates about more tech-related news, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Do let us know your thoughts about the Apple Car. Will it become a reality in the near future? If it comes in the market, will you buy an Apple Car like other Apple products? If you have any questions about the Apple Car, please share your thoughts below and don't forget to share in the comments section. Thank you for staying with us.